Uh, I'm really, really happy to be here to present these awards. Uh, and you know, when I, I think you'll see, uh, these are really special awards uh, with the with the picture of Lombardi on it, and obviously what Lombardi means, and uh, just uh, standing for excellence. And uh, uh, really, really pleased uh, to be able to present uh, present these awards. Take me out to the football game, blend me in with the throng. Buy me a brewski, a brat or two, do the wave rant and rave, it's a zoo. It's no mercy on the away team, if they don't lose it's a shame. For it's bump, bump, out of here, chump at the old football game. Again, we're really pleased uh, to be a part of this conference, and I, I do want to give special uh, special mention to, to Mike. This was really uh, his uh, his thought and his idea, and he's been the one that really put it together. And uh, we couldn't be more pleased with the way it's gone. So, Mike, how about a round of applause? The first place winner in the documentary film category goes to a film entitled Ghost Player: Relive the Magic. Joe Sherman produced, directed, and served as a videographer and edited this documentary about a group of loyal and local Dyersville, Iowa ballplayers who, following the blockbuster success of Kevin Costner's Field of Dreams, became the ghost players for thousands and thousands of fans who came to see the iconic baseball field on the edge of rows of corn in an Iowa farm field and who later traveled the world as the Field of Dreams team. As ambassadors of baseball, these aging baseball players carried, in the words of their publicist, the best that the American heartland has to offer. Baseball, tomfoolery, and good old-fashioned family fun. The publicist continued, we witness how America's favorite pastime and a Hollywood movie set gave one group of men a second chance to live life as they've always dreamed. I would add that there's very, something very special and something religious about the message this film chronicles as it runs over an 18-year history of these baseball players and their love of the game. The late Bart Giamatti, who served, you'll recall, as the commissioner of Major League Baseball for only one summer before his tragic death, after serving, you know, as president of Yale and of the National League, came to his own love of baseball once again in his life, and he wrote this about baseball. He wrote, baseball fulfills the promise America made to itself to cherish the individual while recognizing the overarching claims of the group. It sends its player out in order to return again, allowing all the freedom to accomplish great things in a dangerous world. It's almost, it seems to me, as if Mr. Giamatti was looking forward to viewing Ghost Player relive the magic. <laughs> With us this evening to receive the award are ghost players Doug Westermeyer, Ron Lucas, El Stefan, Steve Oberding, and Mike Schuster, as well as filmmaker Joe Sherman. Pleased to have you with us. It's not about football, it's not about basketball, it's about the first great American sport that took our country by storm. You know, home run heroes, hot dogs, baseball. Now sing it again and get it right. Okay! Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back cause it's root. Root, root for the home team If they don't win, it's a shame For it's one, two, three strikes You're out at the old ball game Oh, that's beautiful. You know, you make a good point, though. We've got some great sports here in America. The world's best fans, too. <laughs>